ladies and gentlemen, and it's Sunday night, and you are here live on TMA with the one and only Moobsy. And on my right is Mr. Paul Pidge Atkins. Good evening, sir. Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. We look like proper news. I was going to say, we look like newsreaders tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to have a bit of fun with this. Yes. <laughs> I've got Trevor McDonald's glasses, so unfortunately that's out the window. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not Trevor McDonald's. I'm not, not Trevor McDonald's. <laughs> no, I'm not really. Shocking. 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 I did the Jackson interview, so I'm all right. <laughs> evening, Dave. Yeah, so Dave is on. Good evening, sir. Um, Remember, as always, guys, keep your comments coming in, questions you want us to ask, answer, uh, your thoughts, anything, post them in, even to say hello, you want to shout out, shout out, we're more than happy to do that. Yeah, you are. But I'm not. Right. No, no, no. right, okay, okay. Shall, we just, shall we just start and get it all out of the way about the evening, Alan? Um, not about yeah, that, yeah. but, and Suggsy's on. Suggsy's um, on, hello, mate. Let's start with success's story. Um, yeah, it's so not really a success the... story, but, shall we say, but it's to- no, no, it's, it's not. Story. Um, it's incredibly worrying, I feel, that this has suddenly come out. Um, something that happened over a month ago has suddenly made front page headlines um, in a national tabloid. Uh, and it's for all the wrong reasons. Isaac's success, seriously, what is going on with you, sir? Oh. You know, I'm sorry, but you are you're meant, meant to be one of the most up and coming youngsters, and you've gone and done that. Now, I know, he, uh, we all know he's not been getting game time this season, but I am, I'm shocked and disappointed. Well, I mean, <laughs> now you know, when we saw him in pre-season, he wasn't, he looked, he looked lethargic, he didn't, you know, you could, at that time, you could have put it on, okay, well, he's had a pre-season, he's obviously not fit enough, blah, 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 it's happened with other players before, and we'll see how he goes. But exactly. now we probably know why, because he's probably... It could be only one time, but at yeah, one it time looks, it's gone in yeah, the papers. It looks like it's a one-time thing, and it looks like the a, a woman involved has possibly gone to the papers over it, oh, which has yeah. which has sort of left, you know, what the... Well, success exposed in this. It's left the club with a reputation... With, a bit of a tarnished reputation well, because it's not what they want. We're a family club. That's exactly. Thing, that's we, are club. we are a family club and he goes and does something like that. But let's hope it is just a one-off. I pray it's a one-off. Yeah. Um, you know. Oh, Gaz has joined. <coughs> Gaz has just, he's just come off from uh, DJing. Yes, yes. Just, um, can Good I just evening, think, sir. As Gary's actually on, can we just say guys, that um, around five o'clock every Sunday, and we did promise him to do because he always says good things about the podcast. So thank you very much, Mr. G. Yeah. But um, we've got on the suggested sites on top of this Facebook group as well. Mr. G's out of music, of music. Um, how, do you, how do you really say? Mr. G's out of Mr. G's music hours. Yes. Uh, from five yes. o'clock Sundays, just before the podcast. Absolutely perfect. So. Nip over to Mr. G's um, music. He talks football chat, puts some decent tunes on. I mean, I've listened to it a few times. Yeah, so, I'll tune um, in tonight. Great tunes as well. There you go. Tune in, guys. Something, something to take your mind off. The, well, especially when there's an international break. It's another excuse yeah. not to watch the international football. You've got the Mr. G's <laughs> music, banging tunes, and then seeing us at 8 o'clock. So exactly. Like. Yeah. What more could you ask for on a Sunday night? That's perfect in my book. That's a worth a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, Hello to Chris. Um, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, mate. But you know, it's it's a Watford thing. It's a Watford story. It's on the front page of the paper. You can't. We, we can't really ignore it. Yeah, we will actually. Um, that's why we said we'll get away. We'll get it out the way now. Yeah. Get everyone to just vent about it for the first like five ten minutes, and that'll be it. That'll be it. We'll go into stuff that actually is news. But thing is, though, you can't get away from it. It's fr- we can tell how many stories the sun is scraping the bow. I mean, they're scraping exactly. the bow more it's than we Sunday. do in the national breaks. Yeah, exactly. And you can see what the priority is in the country. Um, you know, yep. people die, people get killed. But oh well, there's a Watford bench warmer at the moment. He is Watford bench warmer paying two set of two grand for hookers. I mean, it just shows. You know, yeah, it's um. What a load of things. It is, yeah, yeah, I agree, Chris. It is a, it is about it him. Is. But what we're annoyed with, and what I'm saying, it's a family club, and it doesn't look it's good dragged, on our. Um, it's, it's dragged the club, yeah, into something that it didn't want to be dragged into. But you know, we draw a line under it. We said we're going to get it out of the way. This is out of the way. Uh, Sasurin is on. Evening, Sasurin. Yeah. Uh, the legend that is. He sits where he wants, whatever game he's at. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stuart, yep. Yeah. 
Don't worry, we are getting on to the ladies bit in, uh, in, in a little while, mate. We will yeah. be covering the ladies. Um, right, okay. We'll do it all the way through the... Um, big, oh, yeah, let's get let's actually yeah. get on to the march. Let's forget yes. about success. Let's get to yeah, the march. We're, move, we're moving on now, so don't right, worry about go that. Go on, then, mate. You can start off. You yeah, yesterday's about. march. Um, I didn't get to go in the end. I had other things on, but I really did want to go on this. Um, hopefully, there's another march um, soon or maybe next year. Um, then I'll, uh, I'll definitely go on it, providing I'm about. Um, yes, like I say, the march yesterday was the FLA, which is Football Lads Alliance. <laughs> I think I've got that one right. Um, Bob Brimson's one of the yes. like, catalysts to that as well. He's, yeah. uh, he's one of the TMA boys as well, so a big shout out to him as well. Mm -hmm, indeed. Um, basically, it was all football fans uniting together as one, going on a peaceful march through London to basically demonstrate to the government, you know, these terrorist people, you know, we're fed up with them, you know, and they're not going to disrupt our lives. They're not going to, um, they're not going to stop us going to football games. They're not going to stop us getting on the terraces every week. We're still going to go, and we're still going to support. But it's also more than that, and, it's like, and we're not going to let them disrupt our daily routines, our daily lives. So for me, you know, over I think it was over thirty thousand people went yesterday. I, I think that's what I, I, I did see something about it. Um, yes, Watford was well represented. I saw all the pictures online. So uh, to all you boys that went, well, well done because I'm honestly proud of you and I'm gutted I didn't get there because uh, I really I really would love to have gone on that march. No, no, it, it sounded right. a good march as well and for a, for a good reason as well and that's yeah. why I said to um, one of the guys in Enjoy the Game Forum that I said, you know, they said, oh, if you didn't go, you didn't understand. I said, we, we did understand and we yeah. agree why you've done it. It's exactly. A, it's worthwhile. It's not yeah. just, Without oh, our voice heard, it won't be a, hopefully, mm. I, I do agree, especially with 70,000 people going. Your, yeah, the voices will be heard. People are starting exactly. to turn to turn, uh, turn away from this stupid acts of violence. Yeah, they you know, are, yeah, and just discrimination in general. And exactly, you know, it's, it was a good, it's, it was a good march. You know, to see, well worth it. To see, you know, all football fans uniting as one. You know, you, you put your rivalries aside. You know, we the Golden Boys represented. You had Tottenham up there. You had West Ham up there. You had Arsenal up there. Chelsea. You had you had the big guns out. And everyone put aside their differences because they're all standing up for the same thing. Yeah. And it was absolutely great. So, like I say, I'll say it again, a massive well done to everyone that went. And I'm, uh, I'm deeply sorry that I didn't go. So, But hopefully that will push the, the, vo the voices further into the ears of the people that need to be... Exactly. Need to hear it, Exactly. You know, um, for want of a better um, phrase. Mm. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's hope that's another... The uh, mainstream yeah. media totally ignored it. Exactly, it's got to be they did ignore it. You know, you probably know that's going to happen because they don't want to. They don't want to go from to the main issue. Like, so we rather, rather, they rather report on um, <coughs> people paying money for hookers. You know, like yeah. we have moved away from it. But that's the priority, obviously, with some of the media. Exactly. Not, not a march that actually meant something. Yeah, Gary, I'm all, I'm a, I'm actually a member on that the um, FLA what the page. Um, so uh, yes, there it, but guys, if you're not a member and you do want to head over there, head over to that page FLA Watford on Facebook and uh, sign up. Yeah, can uh, I just say uh, just uh, just slightly? We can always go back. Just guys, if you want to keep yeah. on talking about the march yesterday, please do. But yeah, I'm just going to say, yeah, I'm just going to say the 1881 need about this is slight slight off for him, Key. The yeah. 1881 need about 20 people month uh, tomorrow Monday at the stadium sorting out the world of the UK's biggest surfer flag uh, about 6 30 um, at night so they need at least 20 people over at the ground so if anyone can help and um, you can get more information go on in the 1881 uh, Facebook group if you're if you're not a member just get on there they'll accept you um, and they'll just give you more details about that so they yep. need about 20 people about 6 30 tomorrow yep. Massive Indeed. surfer flag, UK's apparently the UK's biggest one, so that doesn't surprise me with some of the flags exactly. that we've had the Exactly, inside. it's going to be a huge one if, they, if it's able to come out, I really hope it is. Right, ladies' um, news. Ladies' news, well, my oh my, I, I, I was hoping that they were going to have a win today, but they got trounced 4 0. I cannot believe it. It's another defeat we're talking about for the ladies, and it's a, you know, I'm, I've got my fingers crossed that their fortunes are going to turn around soon, I really am. Um, yeah. One, I think it was one nil down at half time, and then three second half goals. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, so yes, unfortunately, a third straight defeat. Right, line up. Um, line up this afternoon was goalkeeper, goal in goal, obviously Kitchen. We've got McKeague, Neil, Jones, Captain Nuttall, Bobajida, McCarthy, Bragg, Betoga, um, Will, and Maple. Subs were Kerr, Cadone, uh, Banos, Banowska, who's obviously sub goalie, Walkley, Bell, Murray, and Sargent. So just remember, guys, um, the home games are half price for season ticket holders, and it's only two pound fifty a pint. So what can you say? You know, two fifty a pint. Only about two fifty a pint. Apparently. Sweet, right? I'm definitely going down there more often. So uh, oh, there's one at the end. Of, yeah, there's one at the. Um, there's one. Yeah, there's a game. Uh, they're at home at the end of the month. I think. Is it Tottenham? Yeah, Tottenham ladies. They're home to Tottenham ladies. At that is end a good. That's going to be a month. cracking game. On so. the sun is Sunday the 29th. Yeah, it's twenty nine. Get yourself down there, the guys. Fi- remember, the fixture price. list is actually on our is is on the page now. So scroll through and you'll see it. So uh, by the way, you better say hello to someone because you're going to get shot in a minute. Oh, oh yes, yeah. sister. my sister's on there. Mister um, Pinch to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Jeff. All the way. Ah, yes, we're California. We are California dreaming again. Yeah, so, we're we'll coming with such a day again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, the fr- uh, let me yes. throw this out. Um, yeah. Hang on. Yes, Alan, I yeah. completely agree with that. It is going to take time because they are. It is a new site. Right. Yeah. Right, let's throw this out. Yeah. Fingers um, crossed. Let's throw this out. Right, like on. I said. Um, right. Do you think Do you think Shalabar is a better fit than Henderson in the England team on current form with Henderson? <laughs> um, I think give him a go. Yeah. It, it, we, I, I think we all know that. Shalabar was going to play had he not got injured. Yeah. If he hadn't got injured in training the other week, we know he would have been in that England squad and we know he would have been on the pitch probably a dead cert for tonight. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, he is injured. He hasn't been able to play. But I still think he's going to the World Cup. And like I just said to Dino before we came on air, um, Southgate's already saying that play, there's still places available. Yeah. Um, so the door isn't shut on him. So, provided he doesn't get set back with the injury, I can still see him going next summer. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, um, I think um, cleverly should be given a men- uh, should be given a, a, a so, well must. not starting but but certainly be picked for England squad now on current form. Yes, I think yeah, I think he does deserve a chance, but you know it, uh, he's starting to prove himself. After he's the, starting to prove himself after being slagged needs... off at United. Yeah. After after an up, up and down spell at Everton, he's settled yeah. down now. This season, he's been one of our unsung heroes. Yeah, he is an because unsung Because we've hero. always gone on about, for me as well, we've always gone on about the Corey and Shadaba. Cleverly is one of his unsung heroes for mm. us this season. He is. And he's getting in, getting the respect of the outer supporters from not just what friends around the side to say, well, actually, no, he actually is quite a good mm. player and a good age as well. He's not yeah. 20, but he's not exactly 30. Exactly. He's still, well. And he's, he's got a lot more, he's got a lot more development and a lot more progression to do. But yeah, so I think, I, I think Shalabar's going to go in cleverly. Well, you we know, well, I was going to say, the next two internationals England have got against Germany and Brazil. <laughs> Thoughts on that one? As far as I'm concerned, we qualify for the World Cup. Yeah, so we, we, we let's experiment so. for the players that are not players that are looking to get into the squad. Let's just yeah, experiment. Well, if, if Cleverly continues the way he is, then you know, and if the people get injured down the line, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. We'll look at it two ways. We've got we had the time where we drew against Brazil away. Everyone was raving about it. We go to the World Cup, we muck up. Yeah. Why don't we just do it the other way, where we're not completely playing? I'm not saying play the kids. Play a couple of players like if Cleverly can fit himself in, or when Shalabar's eventually mm-hmm. fit, let's play some of these players that yep. are looking at potentially getting into the squad. Yep. And let's see if we get spanked, we get spanked because I'd rather get spanked at these friendlies than go to the World Cup and actually do exactly. something. So it's. Uh, I like the. Um, I Kev, like the that's a too, great. Right? Yeah. Kev, that's, I love that flag. And good evening, sir, as well. Good evening. Um, so, he's very much a Les Taylor. Cleverly is mm. very much like a Les Taylor mould where he's very unsung. Mm. And Ta- Les he Taylor is. was one of fantastic midfielder. That's it. Yes, they did. The kids did win two tournaments this summer, and I think you know, so, mm. you know, that's, that's another point. positive for for the future of in, uh, for England. Well, at least I hope it is. But the other thing with that is, this is where the clubs have got to say, you know, they're performing at the at that level. Well. Are you going to chop the shirt at them and let them play in the Premier League and let them develop? Because uh, then you get the well, argument now, though, with the... And I agree with you, 
I do agree that they should be brave enough to do it, but then you'll have the argument now from the other side coming in saying, well, because of the pressure, because of the money, a lot exactly. of these teams, unless you're like the Sean Dyches and this slightly lower bottom half, mm. I know they're up in fifth, but fifth or sixth, but the bottom class of the bottom half teams. Yes, I know, I know what you're saying. The pressure, if you're relegation or you're trying to go for European places, the pressure, uh, pressure there, a lot of these managers are too scared to put these players in. And yeah. you get gems. You do, you over do, the you three, do. You do. So I do, yeah, I do agree with Chris. Will any of them get Premier League football? We just don't know. But well, mind you, we say that. But Tammy Abraham's currently on loan at Swansea from Chelsea, and he won the Under Twenty World Cup this year. So and he's looking good. That it, it can be proven, but it's well, it's, it's, it's a fifty-fifty call. And a good evening to A as well. Hello, yeah. sir. Um, but who? Uh, Simon. Good evening as well. Uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. I think we've got to go with that one. Yeah. The the youngsters do get their chance. So. Right. On back onto solid Watford. We and funnily enough, we're staying on midfield. Is it? Panarandas get apparently, from what I've gathered from two or three news sources, and a lot of you probably know this now, is apparently going to get a Spanish passport. Hoping to get a Spanish passport. He's on loan at Malaga. And even the English uh, England coach Paul, Sa- uh, Paul Simpson during the Under Twenty World Cup even testified for him, saying that you know he's, this guy should be getting a should be getting a, a passport to play, a should be able to a work permit to play. Why is that? Why is it taking so long? And a lot of people backed him up on this as well. well and apparently, think... we're, he's going to get one before the end of the year. So you imagine the team we're going to have if this kid comes bit, in as I, well. If he gets, well, if he gets the passport. I can guarantee you Watford are going to activate a recall clause. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a feeling it's going to happen. I'll be surprised which if we haven't one already. Well, which means come January, we're going to have a very interesting window because players are going to have to go out. Hmm. Because somebody, there's going to be a couple of them that are not, not going to be happy with it. Um, but, I, uh, yes, uh, you know, he, he should have been given the permit in, in the summer. You know, yeah, it, it, just know goes, that, yeah. it, it, it just goes through with the Rich Arlison thing. Mm. We went and appealed it, and they gave us it. That's what. So, <laughs> I mean, much as I, much as I'm really glad they did, you know, it does beg, uh, beg the question of how, how many loopholes are in this work permit thing? Because if we can just get hey. Richardson, which I'm happy with, get him that quick, how the hell is it taking two years, almost two years, to get Penaranda's work permit? Well, this is the thing. It's, it's well, it's been two years. Isn't well, it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, but it's been two years. Yeah. The, is there also a detection that there's some backhander thing? Right, Kevin said, just go on, thing, yeah. just go, please go back to it, mate. Um, he says, I'd play a, a team of uncapped championship players against the Germans. You can watch the passion and desire they show in the England shirt. Yeah. I can't there's argue there's, that, there's, there's plenty of them in the championship that still want to play for England. You know, uh, yo, 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 to Sanjay as well. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you for tuning in, mate. Um, yeah, you know, it does beg the question, is there... Um, yeah, actually, Chris has just come up with probably what I was thinking. If he's signing for a top four, he gets one. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, he, yeah, if he's, he's not signing for a top four club, it's it's going to be harder. So it's, I feel, that, I, agree, well, I agree with Chris. It's pretty much if you're a top four club, you're going to get it's it. Bias. It's, yeah, it's, it's biased. It's biased. It's biased. It's it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be at oh. all. And you can see why Greg Dyke tried to overhaul and reform the FA. And he, did, and he got bombed out. Well, he he knew we knew then we knew when Cluffy was going to be should have been England coach. There's too yeah. many old fuddy duddies there. Knew, yeah, still they knew there. something. He, Greg Knight knew something was going on. Oh God! Yeah. And he, he was about, and he was about to hit that hammer hit the hammer on the head. Yeah. And uh, so um, it didn't take a rocket playing. scientist to work that out though, does it? Surely he's still paying for it. <laughs> well, he might be. But Messi ain't paying yeah. any tax at all. Messi ain't paying none at the minute. I don't think. Unless, don't Messi um, about really. No, it doesn't. Right, Flo- right. Yeah, right. You've, you, we've heard we've heard of the funny story that I told you about. Um, we apparently Walter looking at going to Everton. He's trying to find a way back in. Please, please, please stop him entering the country. And yeah. apparently Flores, which I actually think is seven is more credibility. Here. I think Flores this is going to come to West Ham. I'll tell you a lot what, of traction this apparently. Yeah, is well. I, th- I, I can see that rumor gathering phase, but if Billich really doesn't sort it out with West Ham. Then I think he will be gone. If Flores is being now linked, yeah, I think he will get he he probably get the job. Um, 
because I think it's it's pretty clear that there's there's been a fallout between him and the owners. Yeah. Uh, there's been no secret made of that. So if if Flores comes back, well, welcome back, sir, because uh, you know you're a legend in my you're a legend in our eyes. Cup semi final, stayed in the prem, and then decided to go. Start of the season, <laughs> and I've said this millions of times. Start of the season. He, First and foremost, I think he did a good job. He stabilised the club, got us an FA Cup, like you said, FA Cup semi-final, got us mid-table. Um, start the season, I would have snapped anyone's hand off for that. Exactly. But the only thing that left the sour taste in a lot of people's mouths was the way we finished, how we finished. Yeah. Um, That's the only thing. It wasn't the fact the overall finish and what we look back on the season like we're doing now. It was how we finished. Same with Walter. Walter's more, even more disastrous. Um, Flores was one we just... Up, just dead. Well, they have the FA Cup to be final of the mind, yeah. pretty much, and they even admitted that. Even Troy admitted that, that they took the foot off the gas. Training was lacklustre near the end. I mean, even Troy yeah, missed the was... training session. And that's what he was saying. That's the only yeah. thing that stuck to stick in my mouth. But I'd love welcome him back, uh, personally. Yeah, I, yeah uh, you know, and he's, I, I think it's always been made clear since he left that he would, he, he, if he ever did come back to Watford with a visiting team, there's no way he's going to get booed or nothing. It's going to literally be a stand, a round of applause, and a stand innovation, I think, because yeah. because of that run we had and the football we got us playing, you know. And it was just a shame that you know we finished higher. Well, it's a present for you because our um our, our, our stream has to go down. Can I just say hi to Watford Woody? Um, I actually he's he's one of the guys who works in Watford Hospital and he's going to give me a scarf which I'm going to be very proudly um, showing up here on the podcast I promised him I'm going to do it so I will <laughs> we'll do a lot dusting off and I love that one that's a good one nice one Ray that's uh, I, I do like that's, that's can I ju- I'll just plug Mr G's retro rewind again five o'clock every Sunday yep. football chat banging tunes just before preparation before you come uh, before you watch the podcast and yep. and it's a lot of good football chat there as well exactly and so. and i think he takes requests as well during the uh during he the certainly time. does he does take requests so it's even worth tuning in that's that's another reason for tuning in Justin yeah. hoffman going to everton yes i that's agree with ray cook yeah <laughs> so shouldn't that be alec baldwin we did say he looked like alec baldwin yeah, I thought I, I think most people think Alec Baldwin. Um, that's a good shout with the Dustin Hoffman thing. Yeah, um, it's both. It's both of them. They're going to be co-managers. Well, we've got Colin Farrell. Now, yeah, we so. got. Yeah, we got. No, is it Colin Farrell or Owen Farrell? Owen, no, it's not Owen Farrell. It's not Owen Farrell. No, no, Owen no that's the rugby player. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the first to be the one making mistakes here, mate. I'm supposed to be the one that sounds. <laughs> Sorry. Like Sorry, I've been on. I've, I've been on the beer all weekend, so apologies. Uh. <laughs> right, tap it. If you're bored. During the weekend, there is no football on. If the football's finished, go on to hornetheaven.com and check out yeah. their podcasts um, and their spiritual horizons of Watford and be one with the religion that is Watford. So hornetheaven.com, um, check out them. Right. Carillo, um, we've good had diff- good evening two... Michael. Yeah, good evening, Michael. T- Carillo, um, yeah. two different sides of this coin. First, we get told he wants to stay. This will become more apparent oh, no. later on. He apparently, he wants to stay. Now we're being told that he's only staying for a year to prove he's worth the Benfica so he can go back and be in their starting lineup. Um, yeah, I hope the, the earlier one. I really yeah, do, and I, I personally think Benfica don't want him anymore because if they wanted him, they wouldn't have farmed him out, off out on loan to us. No. You know, they said they had a better player in his position. It was guaranteed to start every week. It's an old number of that situation. It, in a yeah, way. it is. Well, it is to an extent, but I think I think what they've got to look at is, you know, I, I personally think I think he's going to stay with us. You know, we can buy him for ten million. Ten million is nothing. Ten million is a snip now. That's a snip. It really is. That's an absolute snip for Peru. Well, actually, if Peru go to the World Cup, I can see Benfica whacking the price up. Actually, it'll be unless, unless million. If yeah, unless we can, unless we agree a deal sooner rather than later mm. but i i personally don't believe the article that's been written saying he wants to he, he wants to go back to Benfica. Mm. I, I i don't believe it at all I, i'm probably going to get proved wrong they're both football sites i mean as credible yeah. as they could be uh they're both football sites and you hear all the transfers we have all the time apparently um morales um uh, raul morales yeah apparently um, 30, 34 years old ex liverpool apparently he's linked with us now um, don't need him. No, no. We will be reading out all these transfer rumours and everything, and it just gets us talking. But um, to be honest, unless it's reported, 
that were after these people, I wouldn't believe it anyway. Anyone Portuguese who is a midfielder is pretty much linked to us anyway. So exactly. I um, seem to be getting more and more of them linked to us as well, especially yeah. with apparently another Brazilian being linked with us. Just because we've gone and signed one and he's proven his worth, and now we're getting linked with the whole entire national team. Almost. It's a bit like the space force thing. It's his brother's father's former roommate. Yeah, I think it is at this rate. Um, but yeah, we uh, but yeah, we wait to see how that one unfolds. I think uh, well, I think it's just rumours. It's, it's all rumours about him saying he wants to go back mm-hmm. after this year. But we'll see. We will see what happens. I live in hope. I, yeah. I do firmly believe that your side, I do actually, once again, funny enough, agree with that, where I think he's he's over here to get, gain the experience and he'll eventually come to us. The, like I say, the only worry is if he plays well at the World Cup. And by the way, they drew nil nil with Argentina. Yes, they did, yeah, and he was suspended for that. So he's going to be back in action on early hours of Wednesday morning, apparently, and it kicks off about one half one in the morning. So if you're possibly on a, on a night shift or... Maybe you're awake and can't sleep, and you've got Sky or something. Tune in, you'll probably be able to watch it. Uh. <laughs> right, can we, guys? Can we just um, get get talking about our the better, we're doing the TMA greatest team, what the team in this. our history? So the first, this is the first podcast we're going to obviously do the first position number one goalkeeper. Who is your best goalkeeper of all time? We've done well. I know we've done best fullbacks, best spine, all this stuff. We're going to obviously we're going to We'll count roughly. We'll pretty much know who's going to be number one with each position. Yeah. Um. But give us your best goalkeeper of all time to put in our team. We'll put it up. We'll show it every every podcast. Yeah. And I'm going to throw Coton in for that. Uh, Coton oh, you took that one straight off me. I was going to say that. No, you've um, got, you have Coton. Go for Coton as well, mate, if you want. Yeah, I'm going to That's say it. Coton. I'm going to say Tony Coton. Um, even though we've had a lot of more modern keepers, yeah. uh, modern day keepers. Yeah, Ray saying Tony Coton, Stuart. Tony. Oh, Watford Woody, Steve Sherwood, good shout. That's a good shout. Um, That's the point of Alan, this. We want you guys to argue Alan about Sa- this. Alan saying Tony Coton. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I say, keep, keep coming in, guys. Whatever goalkeeper you want from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the noughties. Even you can have Gomez if you want, if, if you feel that, if you, if you want it. You know, it's all your opinion, it's guys. I mean, we're not going to shoot you down. Whatever you guys want. Even if you put Perry Suckling in there, we will not shoot. Well, I might shoot you down for Suckling. No, no, no. Steve Cherry, I will. Um, by Punchmark. Bert Slater, Michael. Uh, yeah, good calls, good calls. Um, we will see We will see how that goes. If we, I think it's probably heading towards Tony. You want to make me cry, put Pantillum on, but there you go. Right, I think I Don't think get we can, me started if I see Pantillamon. Yeah, I think I think we can safely say that um Coton will probably get the nod. But we'll do it all the way through the next half an hour, so we've got plenty of yeah. time. Anything can happen. Um especially we've got with Charleston on the pitch. Yeah. So um top <laughs> goal free kick and injury time. Yeah, free <laughs> kick and injury time and then Miller gets the nod or something like <laughs> Yeah, that. exactly. So, We've both put Coton down. So your favourite goal, your best goalkeeper of all time. That is our first position we're going for. And on Thursday we're going for um, right backs. Okay, but we won't good. say anything until yeah, we won't say anything until this one gets cleaned. Don't put your shout outs for right backs this time. It's just goalkeepers tonight. Yeah. Um, the wine bar waiter from Chris. Is that Gomez? I don't know, but that's. I'm yeah. guessing that's Gomez. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he looks like it. Uh, Pat Jennings, yeah, Pat Jennings is a good shout as well. I like that. So yeah, like I say, like, like I say guys, please, please keep them coming in. Keep, we, we are, we'll keep an eye on it all. Right, that's part one of Legends chat. The second part um, is the best captain to ever play for Watford, or the best player to ever captain the Hornets. Ooh. Throw that, throw, throw that out as well. So okay. your best ever captain. Best ever captain. So obviously the Gomez one will stick as our TMA team selection. Um, but let's go with your best player to ever captain of Watford side. And I will shout Les Taylor for the FA Cup. So we get okay. the cup I like the sound of that. I'm going to go... Ramage wasn't a captain, so I can't put him in. I was going to say, I was <laughs> waiting for Ramage to be mentioned. And yeah. lo and behold, it's yeah. taken him 29 minutes to actually say so Ramage. Right um, Tommy yeah, Moon. Tommy Moon's a good call. I'm going to go with Robert Page. Yeah. Robert Page, pa- you know, that's... Probably like the first captain I actually remember from when I was when I started going. So mm. I'd say I'd say Robert Page. Uh, I she wasn't captain, was he? No, he didn't. He didn't get the arm. Even even a one one captain one armband game 
one you can shout out for. You know, we'll take oh, that. Yeah, John, uh, Chris, John McClellan. Oh, well, McClellan's colleague. Who's one of my, him and Simo, that's, that's pretty much almost given away my backline choices for the team, but I might yeah. change it. Uh, McClellan, Page with it, yeah, Dave, Page with it, Joe at Wembley. It's, it's a good shout for it, you know. <coughs> I like that one. I can put like up a valid argument for a lot of those, for most of those players, if not all of them. Yeah, I'd probably even go with Demerit as well. Yeah. Demerit was a good captain, I thought. Um, yes. Stevie Farmer, yeah. Stevie Farmer. Gavin Marm. Yeah, Gavin Marm was, although he was completely out of pony at the time. Um, the only good thing he was good for was when we were in the Prem last and he uh, volleyed that ball into the net against Andy lifted, And he lifted the trophy. But, and he lifted the playoff final trophy as well. It's a bit like Page, isn't it? Yeah. Keith, Keith Eddie, Stevie Farmer. Oh, is that, yeah, Keith Eddie, yeah. Why did he play? Oh, that's before my time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just showing the age a bit there. With we'll Frostrum. Have a good player. Yeah, yeah. Chris, keep them coming, mate. Keep them coming in. I'll just throw them out there, guys. Right. Yeah. Like I say, two legends chats. Number one is obviously our team, our best ever Watford team, TMA selection team, voted by you guys on the podcast, exclusive on the podcast. No poll, just exclusive podcast voting. Um, goalkeeper today, right back on Thursday, but we won't go off the right backs yet. Just goalkeepers. And the second part of the legends chat is you, the best player to ever captain a Watford side. It could be a one, one trip, a one trip, one trick pony one, or oh, season after season. I said no one. John used this. I'm yeah. sure he was captain at one point. I'm sure he was. Well, we really <laughs> hope that Lord Dino was captain at one point, but he wasn't. Did he ever have the armband in for thirty minutes? Yes. Something is going on. Something is going on. Sorry, guys. I do apologise over this. My phone keeps bleeding. Right, guys. Can right. I, while he's looking at his phone, That's right, can I back. just say um, that we're putting the... Obviously, we'll always have these video podcasts on YouTube, but we are recording audio podcasts now. So if you can't stand to look at our faces, which even <laughs> we can't do... Yeah, um, especially his one. Yeah, especially mine. Especially my dodgy haircuts, because yeah. I haven't even got a haircut now. It's just a line of hair or something. Um, it looks like, like it's gone and gone bit of carpet just stuck it on your head. That's DFS, mate. A DFS, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, DFS. Uh, but anyway, go over to the go over to YouTube, type in Telemade Army TV. We've got the pod, video podcast, we've got the audio podcast now. So clear HD audio podcasts. So if, you, if you're getting fed up with some of the um, video, because it's hard to download this stuff off of you, you know, off of, um, was it Facebook? So we've got clear yeah. audio podcasts, so go on there and check them out. We'll also do loads more audio stuff. We're doing playlist interviews very, very soon. So we will be doing yep. them. Are we doing audio stuff of just about what but opinions and all that sort of stuff, football cool. chat, which will be added yep. on to different playlists. So we'll do Brilliant. slight what for related stuff but not quite. So we'll do that as well. So just look on there guys. All right. Uh, uh, I'll just another quick shout out. Uh, hello to my mate John. John Rudio, good evening sir. Lovely to lovely to see you joining in. Um, yes, you see this was captain. Kerry Ann has gone with Tommy Mooney as a captain. Yep, can't fault him for that. He was a good captain. So you're putting up an argument for most of them. Not you can the put go- really a lot of them. A lot of, the, a lot of the goalkeepers could as well. Yeah, so exactly. Honest. Exactly. So. Right, get your non-league roundup right, out for the Non-league lads. roundup. Right, yesterday was National Non-League Day if you were able to get down to a game. Well done. If you didn't, don't worry. It'll be back again next year. Um, <laughs> It will because they like, they like doing it. it um, just got a little round up of everything. Um, starting off, uh, Chesham United went down 2 1 at home. Dunstable Town won 1 0 at home to Farnborough. Hitchin won 4 0 against uh, Stanford. Is that Stanford? Stratford. Oh, Stratford Town. Uh, Kings Langley went down 2 1 at home to Redditch United. That was a, oh, that's a kick in the nuts for them. Uh, mm. St Albans. Beat Bath City 2 0. St Albans are actually doing really well at the moment. Um, they're currently second in the league. Uh, so they are doing really, really well. And another one I've got here is Aylesbury won 4 3 against Molsey in the Cup. Yeah. So um, that, was, uh, that's, that was good with them. And the one I went to yesterday was the mighty Tudor Army of Hemel Hempstead Town. How did that go, mate? Um, it was entertaining. It was literally entertaining. Uh, it finished 1 1. Both goals uh, coming in the first half. 
uh, within about five minutes of each other. Western Superman took the lead on the 20, yeah, about the 22nd minute. Um, we were a delightful free kick from about 25 yards out that left Hamill's keeper with absolutely no chance of getting. Um, he put it straight in the top corner and, well, no no, no goalkeeper in the world normally saves them. Um, yes, Chris, that is true. All other clubs did half prize entry for season ticket holders except Hamill. Don't get me started on that because that is one thing that irritates the hell out of me. Um, the Boggins does not do it. Uh, that is really frustrating because they used to do it. They did he do did. It. He, he did, did do used it. to do it. And up until a couple of years ago, he stopped doing it. So I peed off hmm. about it. But like I say, it was yeah, it was a pretty good game yesterday. Um, as some of you probably seen, some of you saw the photo. Former Hornet Matthew Spring plays for Hamilton. Um, he's been there for a couple of years now. Uh, play, his, his legs are still going. Jordan Parks still there. Yes, Jordan Parks is there as well, uh, playing centre mid. He's he's actually he's actually captain of Hamel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and uh, another notable one is um, is their forward line of. Uh, Charlie Sheringham, aka Teddy Sheringham's son, plays up front. And uh, yesterday was absolutely guilty of missing a golden opportunity to open the scoring for Hemel when he was two yards out and put it wide. Yeah. Uh, answers on a postcard if you went to that game as to how he missed because none of us have worked it out yet. Um, but like I say, it was a good game. Heated out a bit in the second half. Um, attendance at Hemel yesterday was 455 which is yeah, pretty good for them. Uh, yeah. I think if one or two of the other teams hadn't been at home, there would have been a few more. Oh, God, yeah. Um, <laughs> There's another two, three hundred over there. That, yeah, for plus, the Hemel's quite good. Plus, plus some of the lads who do go to Hemel were on the FLA march as well. So Yeah. Um, yeah. Andy Band's sweatshirt. Chris, can you just elaborate on that? What sweatshirts has he banned? Yeah. I didn't even know he banned sweatshirt. Hmm, that's an interesting one. If he's banned something, I'm not going to be happy with Poggins. Um... But yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good, you know. For uh, the division Hemel are in, if you're not aware of it, it's the one below. Was well, it's, it's, it's Conference South, so it's the one below the National Conference, um, which is it's becoming a pretty good league. Uh, they've got some good teams in there. Professional um, sides have been down there as well. The Swoop Army ones. Full time. Oh, okay. Right, Swoop Army ones were banned. I didn't I didn't realise that. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty good turnout. Uh, they had a Crossbar change at half time, which was very entertaining. Uh, I won't mention someone's name unless he's watching, because then he will get absolutely humiliated by me. Um, did the crossbar challenge and uh, didn't even get the ball off the ground. So, um, oh, Kev Ickman, if you watch it, well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, was, I did say I would get him, so uh, I've got him good and proper. But they should really, it's a shame they don't offer half price. Or it some, is, some it, sort of it is a shame, like and it's. I, I don't know what's wrong with Boggins. Um, I do like, they do love their money there, but go oh, blind, they should be offering that. Also, CJ Vernon. Ah, oh, okay. The thing is, though, as well, that a lot of a lot of Watford fans go to watch Emil. Exactly. So wouldn't you just want an extra, even an extra 50 there? That's equivalent of 25 people paying full price. Yeah. You get 50 at half price. Yeah, I, I, I know... I know what you're saying. It's it's true, but we're not going to convince him anyway. Boggy isn't going to change his mind anytime. I think Chris will probably agree with me on that one, yeah. um, which is a shame because he would have got a heck of a lot more people in. Um, but yeah, it was a, I, I, it was pretty good yesterday up at uh, Hemel. It was nice being up there. Yeah, plus the beer is a bit on the expensive side as well now, which uh, isn't what you want for a non-league uh, for a non-league ground. But yeah, overall the ref done pretty well. He did miss a couple of um, couple of blazing free kicks that should have been given. One on Jordan Parks when the uh, ref turned around and said he uh, he got the ball. Yeah. Uh, the player did he did get the ball, but he also took Jordan Parks out, which um, uh, which didn't go well. Chris, I'm just back after my third back. Can Look, I just Chris, say what have you been doing? Can I just say that um, <laughs> that. Uh, like David Creek said as well, and I have this guy talking to captains. I did notice David Holdsworth has joined the group. He has actually joined this group. Uh, I know hey. Guy Thomas is on here. The Duke, Nathan Lillington is on here. Yep. Um, Neil Price. Neil Price is on here. I believe even Gibbo might be on here. Oh, I will confirm no, that. Man, we will find out. For I know Pricey always watches this. Every single Thursday and Sunday he's on here. Um, so I know Pricey's been on here a few times, and I'm hoping Davey Holdsworth will be on here soon. So, yeah. You know, Chris legends. Legends. No worries, Chris. Well done, mate. Speaking your mind. Well done. 
No, no, yeah. you got, you're more than welcome, mate. There's no old bard on here, no. mate. No, you no, he's just saying why, why he was banned from Hemel. Yeah. Because he spoke his mind. Well yeah, done. exactly. And on here as well, mate. Yeah. Because you're not going to be you're not going to be banned <laughs> on here, mate. Nah. You know. Nah, definitely not. Um, a lot of people, shall I just say, because we're not on a Hemel group, a lot of people have um, left Hemel because they've said what they've done or done too much. So, uh, I'm yeah, speaking from a speaking from experience, shall we say? Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, no, like I say, it was, it was a pretty good day yesterday up at, up at Hemel. It was a good laugh. Uh, Western Superman had a very good travelling of about 26 fans. Um, great to see them making the trip up. Uh, and uh, yes, they. Right, so they took the lead and uh, then Hemel pegged them back. Can't remember how Hemel's goal went in. Ah, yes, that was it. It was a ball over the top, I think it was, if I remember rightly. And it went in that sort of rectangular yeah, thing. Yeah, it went in that well. rectangular thing. He just ran through and just tucked it away, um, <laughs> which was pretty good. And to, and the last, last of the day yesterday at Hemel's game was uh, the goalkeeper getting booked for time wasting after 24 minutes. Yeah. Um, that was absolutely hilarious because he. <laughs> We didn't even understand why he was getting booked, and then someone told me, and I just creased up laughing. And during the game, everyone was trying to get him sent off, but the ref wasn't having it. Didn't want the paperwork. So, yes, like I say, it was a pretty good time up at Hemel yesterday. Uh, just a shame we didn't get the half-price entry. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and they drew and they drew 1-1, and Hemel are currently 9. Oh, right, OK. Now we've got the actual picture. Let me see if I can put this over a little bit now. It's Hold too up. bright. Too far. Too far. Pull it back. It's a Tudor Army thing. What I do is I'll post it up now. See if I can post it up. Yeah, um, post it up. And what it is, it's a Tudor Army thing that they were actually banned from um, putting in. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can uh, download that. Yeah, Chris, yeah. he's got he's, he's got it, mate. I've actually got it, Chris, and I've had a look at it. And it's silly because look, at the end of the day, they say, oh, we're costing us money. But if you'll start charging for almost 40 quid for a replica shirts in that division, um, you're a fool to yourself, as exactly. far as I'm concerned. Alan, I do actually, Alan, I do actually go, I try and go up to him as often as I can. Mm. Um, I know you do, mate. Obviously. It's, uh, it's, normally, it's, it's normally a tough one. We're watching the Golden Boys and trying to watch him. It is, it's a bit of a juggling act. So, but yeah, like I say, guys, if, if you don't go to a Golden Boys game and you know your local team are at home, please, please, Go down and watch them because the, you know, you're helping you're helping the club survive. You know, in this day and age, you know, the non-league guys need us need all the money they can get. You know, to keep themselves going. Which is uh, like the Western Supermare fans. You had 26 people when I used to go and watch Emil. Um, you used to get even about 20 people, 15, 20 people turn up to away games, and you've got to give them absolute respect for anyone turning up mm. to a game, even 300 people. You turn up to a non-league game, like you said, you're keeping the you keeping these clubs yeah. alive, and it's grassroots football. And there's some magic about grassroots football that you cannot you cannot replicate even at the top level. As much as we love Watford, you go and see these clubs because it is very it is special. Yeah. It's I more think, meaningful as well. A lot. Of the time. I think I know what the magic is. I think it's called being allowed to go to the bar, buy a pint, and walk back out and stand there and watch the football and hear the music at the left and right. And also, second half, you can walk around. And uh, yes, time. and you can swap ends as well, especially at Hemel. Um, which is what I did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Surin, totally right. Um, ben, like Ben Foster wasting 45 minutes at West Brom that week. Yes, definitely. It says, turn rise and says whatever. Ah, Chris, now I know the one you're on about. I think, I think, if my memory serves me right, I think a couple of the lads actually had those jumpers on yesterday. I'm sure I saw... Um, Oh, what, the actual game? Yeah, Kev, I think my mate uh, Kev Patterson, I think he had one on. Right. Or he had something, because I remember seeing it. I walked past it, for, walked past it briefly and saw it. Um, so, yeah, I think if he's if he's banned them, someone's managed to, the, the couple have managed to wear them yesterday. Why would, you, why would oh, if I, I was know. Boggins, why wouldn't you just say, well, come on, guys, if you're going to do that, why don't we get that idea and sell some as well? Well, exactly. It's, it's and make Boggins, a bit of money out of it. You thought Boggins would like his money. You go the other way and try and sell him. Yes, that's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris, I'm pretty sure Kev had one on yesterday, and I think, um, and I think Colin, uh, you might know Colin as well. I think he had one on as well yesterday, so it was, uh, it was, def I think it was definitely being worn. <laughs> Can I just go so, back on the ladies' thing? So we skipped. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did seem to like, like breeze past. They that lost well. against Durham away four nil. Um, right, the lineup on the lineup 
uh, today was Kitchen in goal, McKeague, Neil, Jones, Captain Nuttall, Bobajida, McCarthy, Bragg, Pet Petkova, Will and Maple, subs were Kerr, Cadone, Barnowska, goalkeeper, Walkie Bell, Murray and Sargent. So they were they lost 4 0 at Durham. Um, we were if we get more we are in contact actually. Dave Quick did it as well, so thank you very much, Dave Quick, for passing it on. We are in contact with the Watford ladies, so even with the management there. So we are getting we are will be getting more news for the podcast on Thursdays and Sundays. We told them when we need it. So what they're gonna do at least an hour before, hopefully. Yeah. Post us loads more news so we don't have to look on these alternative sites or look for Dave Quick to post anything. Yeah. Which, by the way, is fantastic, Dave. <laughs> yeah, which is not lucky, Dave. Cheers. It's fantastic. Yeah. But we can get get stuff fed over to us much quicker, in more depth as well, interviews and stuff like that we could, and mm -hmm. then we can publicise it, give it. Because yep. what we'll do is preview shows on a Thursday. We will give at least 20 minutes to the ladies' team if we can and also give tw uh, about 20, at least 20 minutes for the men's team. Yeah, and just fill up the show as much as we can. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, a preview half and half. Uh, you know. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, Alan. Go on, go on. Good point. No, just going back to non-league thing. Alan, my club is six pound of getting one pound for a program, two fifty for a burger, and it's three pound for a pint. Cheap day out. That that's is good. Isn't it? That's cheaper than what I pay at Hamilton. That would encourage people from yeah. the big clubs or exactly. just league clubs to go and yeah. support their local team. Yeah. Support support your local team. Not like great saying, incentive. Yeah. yeah. It's just, like, like I say, if you can't get to a Watford game and you know your local team at home, get down and watch them. It's, yeah. it's football at the end of the day. You need a football pitch, there you go. You got it on your doorstep. You can't complain if there's a, a, a long league game. You've got yeah. no football, get down to your local team, no matter where it is in the country, and we will report, not because they're local to Watford, we will report on non league. If it's non league day, we will get more yeah. reports on other teams around the country as well. Exactly. So if you go to a non-league match, let us know and we'll give them, we'll give them a shout out. So, all right, nice one, Chris. Cheers, mate. I'll um, I'll let you know when I'm going to the next game. I uh, might go as well, Chris. Cheers, mate. Cool. You're, right, gonna, you're going to venture back. I might even go one time. If I, <laughs> I would if, love to see the return of Pidgeot. That that would um, be honestly, I'm not blowing me on track. That would be major because I know a couple of the Hemel lads have begged me to go, and that would be yeah. major. Because so, I've said I'd never step foot in that club for a Hemel game after I'm not to elaborate on anything, but after after I got insulted for that one, but there you go. Um, right, can I just can we just throw, throw this out once again? Do you think Shalabar um, Shalabar is a better fit than Henderson? Uh, I think I'm going to throw it out as a long term option for England. The way he's playing, the way Henderson's playing last season. Obviously, you'd say Henderson hands down all the time because Sherlock yeah. I wasn't playing that much. Exactly. This season at the moment, okay, with injury, without the without injuries, if we the, he has a full run from January onto the World Cup, who do you think's the better um, one? I know we might have a bit of um, bias in this, but I do think I think now going forward, it's obviously going to be Sherlock. Yeah, yeah I, younger, think, I, I think it would, yeah, I think well. I, I think you're right, but the one there's one big downside to it, and it was. Pretty much confirmed tonight when Gabriel Clark, after the England game, spoke to Gareth Southgate and said, Harry Kane's had the armband for two games now. Is he your captain? And the straight answer was basically, I still haven't decided. Mm -hmm. So you've got Harry Kane, Jordan Henderson, yeah. um, Gary Cahill when he's fit. Well, I don't know if he was in the squad, actually. Um, was he on? I think he might have been on the bench tonight. Yeah, um, no, he's on the bench. Wasn't so, it? yeah, so there's three possible captains, plus maybe one or two others. So, yes, I think Shalabar is the perfect replacement. Um, yes, I, I will say he's better than Jordan Henderson because well, Henderson plays for that deluded twattery of Liverpool. Um, the but, leaders? yeah, but I do think, and I, I hate to say it, I think Henderson is going to get the armband. Yeah. Which means he's going to be playing... A lot more. <laughs> so, but we will see. We'll see what happens with that. Well, in case of the argument, then you would you would probably say Henderson at the moment. Then, if it's with the armband, yeah. You know, if, it's, if it's the, if it comes down to the issue with the captain and he gets the captaincy, then Henderson plays. But if he doesn't get it, then it's got to be a straight shootout between the two of them, and I think Shalabar would win it. Okay, right. Let's let's confirm that obviously now with the amount of people saying it, Coton is our number one for our team. So I'm going to put yes. that down now. 
Yeah, get I was going to say, we'll yeah. quickly flip back to that. Yeah. Uh, get thinking next week uh, on Thursday about your right backs. Okay, yeah. so no, we've got Tony Coton. Next Cohen. Thursday, though. No, don't start sending them in now. No. Um, <laughs> right, Coton. It's on. Coton's on. Coton's on. Right, yeah. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. Filed. Filed away underneath Filed. the coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a quick cheeky look because we're going to go in more depth on Thursday with the young man Dino. So we're not going to deny it too yes. much till Thursday because it's going to be one of our main topics. But let's have a quick, look, a quick delve into the Arsenal home game because it's oh, on TV as well. It is, it? is, yes. But yes, if, you, if you're not going to the game, be, as far as I know, he's going to be BT Sport at 5.30. Okay. Um, we'll just give you a stream again because most people don't care about BT Sport anyway. Yeah, so especially when you've got, you got, you got Michael Owen on commentary and God knows who else. Um, is it, honestly, that's, an, that's a decent one. What would you rather have, ITV's coverage or Michael Owen and Phil Neville? It's hard, it? ITV's coverage. Oh, my God, it's very close. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I probably would just agree with that. But yeah, but, but look, at, look, at, look at just briefly at next Saturday's game. Yeah. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. You know, I think the one one bonus we've had this week, and I think it is a massive bonus, is that only five or well, six of the lads have only gone off on international duty, not half the squad. So Silver's had pretty much two weeks to work with the bulk of them um, to get them, you know, drilled on what he wants and how he wants them set up. Uh, so hopefully that's all paid off. Um, whether success turned up is another question. Um, It'd be success if he did. Yeah, it would be. Uh, I... I think we. I know we beat them last season at the Emirates, but I think we can beat them at home. I yeah. just don't think. I think at the moment they are just. They're not all that at the minute, Arsenal. I'm sorry, but they are. They're still claiming that they're big. Well, why haven't you won the league? Why do you keep blowing it? Why? Why were you classifying finishing fourth as a success? It's not a success. You know, you didn't win the league. I've You're said fourth best. The only thing I, I only think I would agree with um, Arsenal fan TV is that. And I, I, by the way, I only watch it for the laughter, and I think my nine, ninety-nine percent of their viewing figures is about the just to watch it about the laughter because no one watches it when they win. But DT, yeah. but DT did say it papers over the cracks of a poor season, and it, it would have happened with same with us last season if we finished mid-table. After say if we won the last three games and finished mid-table, we'd have papered over cracks, and that's all that Arsenal were doing. Yeah, the things they that do look, look fragile. They do, they do. They're look trying fragile. to play a back three, which is like we tried to do last season. We blatantly don't understand a back three, yeah. and they obviously don't as well. The only decent player, the only decent centre back I've seen shown any promise is Rob Holding. Yeah, but really? I, well, I, I don't think he's all that. Uh, Mr. Price, good evening, sir. Yeah, he's back. He's, he's back. back. He's, he's on. Price. Right, Neil Price is on. Good evening, sir. Um, You're one of my contenders for left back, by the way. Can I just say? It's cool. <laughs> but you may not be, mate, but I will. You're very in contention, Mr. Um, Price. Yes. Yeah, uh, Chris, yeah, you can chuck this out there. Why does Giggs do the England game? Um, Technically, he was supposed to be England. English, yeah, he was not. Yeah. I think, That's probably I'm, why. I think, I, it's yet again, it's called scraping the bowel from ITV. Uh, <laughs> or, my, or Michael Owen for BT. Yeah, or Michael Owen for BT. Which would you rather? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tough decision, mate. Tough decision. If we if we get into and we beat them, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, and I think next week, I don't, you know, it's a good shout, mate. Yeah, just touching on next Saturday. Yeah, I think they're not going to like the likes of Carrillo and Rich Arlison charging at them. They are going to. Monreal is going to have his work cut out. They play a back three. They will struggle. Well, I think they've now switched back to a back four. But they're still confused because they're yeah. saying, right, are we, play, are we playing a back three now or are we going to get permanently go on a back four? Exactly. Right. And I think for, I think for us... And that's a good thing for us. Yeah, and I I just don't think they're going to counter-handle our pace down the wings. You know, for me in the plays, he's, got, he's going to be running at him. Spanish, Spain on Spain. He's not going to like that. He's going to be wanting to get one over. He'll want to get one over, so... Oh, for me, that God, right. Oli Bass will need to behave himself because I can see him kicking someone. Right, can uh, we just say as well, our, play, our TMA, we kept saying this, but a TMA Player of the Month, I said I was going to announce this today anyway, is Richarlson. Oh. It was well over. Yeah. Thing. We knew it was Richarlson. So Richarlson's the TMA Player of the Month. So um, 
if only we could get an interview. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we if only. Yeah, yeah, no, we it. might be able to work on that one. Stay tuned. We might be able to get something. Right. Can we also just um, say for Alan said I subscribe to BT. Well, at least you've owned up, Alan. <laughs> um, Michael Owen <laughs> isn't on it anymore. So thank you they very much. They sacked him. Thank God for that. Thank God, yeah, that, that makes it more bearable. You to know watch. when you're really bad as a commentator, because even FIFA won't let you commentate on their games. That's all <laughs> I can say. So thank you, Alan, for clearing that up. Yeah, I will cheers, sleep Alan. well at night today, because yes. I'm actually knackered anyway. So I can sleep well at night, knowing the fact that Michael Owen is not reporting. Hopefully they can keep him away from the BBC. They must have a board or a wall. They can yeah. build by the TV studio. Said Michael Owen, thou, thou must not Alan, pass. Yeah, Alan's just added, I don't think, I haven't heard him for a while, so... Well, Even when he commentates, you don't really hear him. No, so exactly. that's you, just hear, you just hear some like whinging voices. If they score two, um, go, score one more goal than the opposition, they've got a chance of winning, yeah. which is a good point actually. Exactly, I do yeah. sort of fully endorse that. that <laughs> yeah, that's, that's normally how it works, isn't it? Um, Nick, so. uh, good evening to Nicholas Burgess. He's just tuned in. Good oh, evening, so sir. Nick. So Nick, well done, mate. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so. Yeah, like, like I say, next Saturday is going to be interesting. You know, we've got the huge, the huge banner from the 1881. Like we said at the top of the show, yeah. if you are about tomorrow evening at about half past six and you can get down to the ground, get down to the 1881 bunker just to help help them out. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. Is it moving it or sorting it out? Sorting something out anyway, yeah. but it's, they need at least 20 people. Yeah, they need, yeah. yeah, they need at least 20 people. So if you can get down there tomorrow night, do it. Right, more information, go on the 1881 Facebook group. Get on there. If you're not already on there, they will get you on there because they obviously know you want to help them. So 20 mm. people, they need at least 20 people. Buy yeah. the bunker, 6.30 tomorrow night, guys. So yeah. please, please help them. Yes, Alan, yes, BT do cover non-league as well, which is which I think is absolutely great that non-league football gets, Yeah, I'll give them, I'll give them their respect for that, um, definitely. And they do a heck of a lot of European leagues now, which Sky won't touch. So, yeah, that's another good thing because... I think you can watch Syria, um, Bundesliga. God, you imagine when that was on Channel Four. God, God, that's a throwback. <laughs> Who remember? All right, right let's throw, we'll, yeah, <laughs> we'll quickly throw this one out. Do you remember in the nineties, football Italia on a Sunday and a Saturday? S Saturday morning was the review. Sunday morning, uh, Sunday lunchtime was the match. Who presented it again? Uh, James Richardson presented oh, it. I remember getting a. Yeah, I, I remember getting a not a Mega Drive. It could have been a Dreamcast, and it had some Super Soccer, some sort of soccer game. The James Richardson was the actual commentator on it. Oh my God, uh, what game was that? I got it for a Christmas, one Christmas ago. I look, got uh, in on missing the Arsenal game. I've got us down to beat Arsenal three-one, fourteen to one. Give us fourteen to one on that. That. I'm saying three-one. I'm saying three-one, Alan. I'm going with you, mate. Yeah. I'm actually completely um, going with you, Alan. Guys, if you guys, if you fancy a bet, there's fourteen to one at three-one. Um, that's worth a couple of quid. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but yeah, no, like I say, football, football Italian, my, oh my. Those were the days. Yeah, it was a very big blast. back on Legends chat as well with Lucy yeah. being over there. Well, exactly, yeah, with Luther being over there and um, Udinese, you know, our sister club. Um, <laughs> we've got to give them a shout. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the sister team. Um, yeah, fantastic. That, was, that, that used to be Sundays. It used to annoy my mum and dad massively because... Uh, all I wanted to do was watch the football, and my mum wanted to watch the extended on the bus, and she never could. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> which, justice which, was never, yeah, which didn't go down well, I assure you. I'm glad she's not actually watching this tonight, because I'd be getting told off. Um, what books? Woody what books? I don't know, what books? What books? Yeah. What books? You know, exactly. Little books. Brother Club now. Yeah, little bro yes, Chris, they are Little Brother Club. Just the Italian Mafia version, so don't get on the wrong side of them. Otherwise, <laughs> there's a visit. <laughs> the visit from the loan sharks. Yeah, the, yes. <laughs> that Holloway loves so much. Yeah, exactly. Can we just well, also? Can I just okay. say that? Okay, um, can, can I just say that Abdi? But a lot of people. I would have Abdi back in a heartbeat last season. But can we just confirm that Bidder and Abdi are struggling to get in their clubs this season? And we get a lot of posts Absolutely. about this, and I'm sorry, they would not get in our side. Yeah, well, at actually, all just, now. just to clear the one up on Abdi, those two. to clear the one up on Abdi, if people aren't aware, Abdi is still out injured. Yeah. Um, which seems to be very worrying, um, because he doesn't look, he doesn't look like he's due back anytime soon. They don't seem to. I think it's that um, same uh, injury that he got with us. Mm. Uh, so mm. that doesn't look good for him. And, 
Vidra will, you know, they're good championship, think, very, very good championship players. They are. He come off. He, he can I think Vidra bit, bit banged in two the other week. I think about three weeks I ago. I think as hard as it sounds, and I agree with Alan, it's probably the same with Fessy as well. Now it is. The, yeah. The well, caliber of player we're looking at now. It's yeah. The next level. I love. By the way, I love Anya. I love Vidra. I love um, Abdi, and I love Fessy, yeah. and all those guys. But that era's gone now. It's a shame. I love that era. That era's gone. Yeah, they are good players. I'm not saying they're not good, a good player. They are good players, but you know, and Woodford Woody, uh, Watford Woody has got a good point. Woody, 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 Woody. I was going to say, well, Woody or Woody, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. exactly. Watford Woody said, put a tenner on that, fourteen to one. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Mate. I was going to say, it's definitely worth a t- it's, it's definitely worth a shout at that three one fourteen to one. So, oh, yes. um, remember your latest odds here as well. So, you know, nine is a yeah, football ten chat. to one. Yeah, yeah, odds on, odds on, like that. Odds yeah. That's two to one, mate. Yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we started to do like the Macarena or something, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, mate. Oh, guys, get it, guys, before we get, get Moves does his usual shout out at the end, can I just say thank you ever, ever so much for making this so enjoyable. <laughs> we always get such lovely comments. We do get, and I know Sanjay's put a few things as well, some good, criti- not criticism, <laughs> but some good stuff, what we can improve as well. Please do that as well, guys. We won't yeah. The only way we can improve is you guys can tell us, right, I don't think this was working too well. Why don't you talk about this or why don't you talk about that? Which people have been doing. So um, can yeah, I just message, say, thank you. Yeah, can you just say thank you very much for, you know, putting all your stuff and making it so enjoyable. Mm. And it, mate. Yeah, yeah it is. Sure, it is. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love doing this. It's been, uh, it's been, it's been great since we started doing it. You know, you guys make it what it is. Um, you know, enjoy having the chats, enjoy yeah. talking with you lot, yeah. and uh, just just throwing everything out there. You know, just like how we do it. You know, it's it's fantastic. Even so off yeah, the cuffs straight in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, off the cuffs. Uh, yeah, especially uh, especially now we're giving some scope to the ladies as well. You know, I think mean, that's it's another good thing. So yeah, guys, like we say, keep the comments coming, keep the suggestions coming. And remember, this podcast is always about you guys. It's not just about us two sitting there having a chin wag. It's about you boys and girls putting your opinions across, putting questions across for us to answer. You know, please, please, just keep doing it. Guys, look on YouTube for the all the uh, video podcasts. We'll do vlogs eventually. We've got audio podcasts now, pure HD video, pod, uh, video and audio podcasts. So get on there, subscribe, click on the comment section and add your opinions on there as well. Yeah. Anything you want us to add during the podcast, please do so. I know... Watford Woody is sending us a scarf, so we would put well, that hey. on here as well. So there's an extra piece for half a ton of stuff on here. <laughs> but anything you want, you think that we should cover in every week, do let us know, guys, because then it obviously, you know, it's more for you than us as well. Hello, hello, Malcolm. Hello, mate. Hello, Mr. Malcolm. Mr. Malcolm. Um, I, lo- I love Ray's comment. Hail and pace of podcast. Oh, that's brilliant. I like that. With the young man. Yes. So that is more common wise when he's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With plus added free kick wall knowledge. Yes, free kick wall knowledge. I was going to say, actually, just going back to the Hemel game yesterday, there is no way in this world you'd put Dino in that wall and the free kick wasn't even getting defended. So yeah. <laughs> Even the great wall of China get, can't get defended. Yeah, exactly. So We've got we've got pictures and we'll post one on the forum as well. So exactly, yes, we have, we have the video. We have photographic evidence. No, we haven't got video evidence yet, so yeah. it's not quite... It's a bit like the sun. They give you rumours and don't actually confirm it. It's a bit sort of thing like that. Exactly. That's back to the success story again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, so cheers for your comment, mate. Appreciate it. And uh, we will keep it going. We'll keep it up. Hell, a pace of podcast. That is good, mate. Yeah. I do like that. <laughs> exactly. Who's the one with the... You're going to be the one with the moustache. Who's that? Pace with it. <laughs> no, he's pace with yeah. it, yeah. I'll get one for next week. He hasn't got pace, but he's got a moustache. <laughs> I'm roasting you this week at least, then. <laughs> you get past Dino as well, then, mate. If That's it's a free right. kick, you will. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going we're going to nip off now. But um, just remember, Thursday night, obviously, the main topic of conversation will be Arsenal. But anything else you elaborate on, we will not talk about success in any of these exploits anymore. Because frankly, we got fed up of it after two minutes anyway. I think Chris's comment just pretty much summed that up. It did. But just look out for the audio podcasts, guys, because they are very, very clear. So that's all I can say, which is good. Which obviously helps. Yeah, it does help. It's not not muffled or anything. But uh, but guys, remember, just before we go, 
just remember, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the postman, tell the milkman, tell everyone about this. You know, the more bit, this is the page is growing week by week by week, and it's all thanks to you lot. So remember, keep telling everyone that you see. Tell you know, even some of the guys that go to Watford games that might not have even joined yet, just nudge them and say, "Oi, get over to this page." You know, yeah. just tell them all, tell everyone. So yeah. I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. I guys. think that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, and it's a uh, good night for him. That's a good night from him. Too late. See you later, guys.